Hello everybody and welcome to Friday's Celebration Assembly. The candle is lit because we know that Jesus is the light of the world and is all around us. Okay, today is a special day. It's Jeans for Jeans Day for us, where we have asked you to come in your jeans for a small donation. Um, the donation money is so, so important because what Jeans for Jeans is, it's where we collect donations, money from yourselves, so that we can give back to children who have got genetic disorders. What your money goes towards is research to help find cures for these disorders. So it's a really, really important cause. I hope you've all enjoyed wearing your jeans as well today. Okay, we're going to start off by our value certificate. We've had another brilliant week here at Gillsborough and lots of children have been showing lots of different values. So here are the children that have stood out to the teachers with specific values and things that they have been doing. So, are we ready? Start off, reception and in year one class. The value certificate goes to Matilda Hardwick. Now, this value is very important. She has got it for helpfulness, for sharing and caring and showing kindness towards our new reception children, helping them to find what they need and looking after them if they're feeling worried. Matilda, well done. That's such a lovely, lovely value to have. Well done. Okay, year two. Mrs Wood and Miss Llewellyn have given their value certificate to Isla Bluebell. Well done Isla Bluebell. And it's been given for the value of thoughtfulness. Now Mrs Wood and Miss Llewellyn said that Isla thinks about her tasks very, very carefully and is always thinking of others. How lovely. Well done Isla. Okay. Mrs Holcomb for class three and four. She has given her award to Enzo. Now Enzo's award has gone for the value of helpfulness. Now Mrs Holcomb has said he's always being kind and helpful and caring in class with the teachers and his peers. A fantastic start to the term. That's super to hear Enzo. Well done, really proud of you. Okay, Mr. Fletcher has given his value certificate to Louise and this is for thoughtfulness. Now, Mr. Fletcher says that Louise is always showing a caring attitude towards all of her peers in class. Brilliant, Louise. Well done. And in year six, Mrs. Mills has given her value certificate to Charlie. Well done, Charlie. It's for the value of responsibility. Now, Mrs. Mills says, Charlie, that you're taking responsibility in your learning and working hard in all of your work and everything you do. We're really, really proud of you, Charlie. So can we give all of those children a huge, huge clap? Well done to all those children. You make us really, really proud and it's you that make Gillsborough Primary School such a wonderful place to be. Okay, I want to talk to you now. I'm sure when you have been walking around your area, your bubble, you've noticed lots of things. We've got new displays that are going up, but outside of the staff room, we have a very special display and I'm going to tell you all about it now. You will notice just outside of our staff room, we have a book of the month. Now this will be changed every month and what I'd like you to do is to read the book and then tell your friends your opinion about the book. Now the book that we've chosen this month for September is called Through the Wall and it's by Jonathan Standing. Now, this is a powerful graphic novel that tells the story of a giant wall separating two civilizations, 
one of blue people and one of yellow people. Each side is forbidden to speak to the other. Crossing the wall or even finding out what's on the opposite side is treasonous. But one day, a boy peers through a hole in the wall and finds himself staring at a girl from the other world. Together, they decide to break down the boundaries that divide their people forever. It's a fantastic book, everybody. Enjoy. I hope you find our book of the month really, really interesting. So they'll be changed every month. Have a read and let your friends know your thoughts and what you think of that book. And also look out to see if we have any books by the same author. Okay, now it's time for our prayer. So I am going to hand over to our head boy and head girl to read our prayer today. And it's about our value of this term, which is courage. Dear Lord, give us your strength to face challenges. Help us to remember that sometimes we need to take small steps to begin with. But it's starting the journey that matters. Thank you that just as you promised to be with Moses, you have also promised to be with us. Wherever the journey leads us. Amen. Amen. There are two children in our school that have, have earned two very, very special awards uh, this week. And I'd like you to know about them. I'd like you to listen very carefully and give them a huge clap at the end. Reverend Allison came to see us on Tuesday and awarded this superstar the Moray Gumpert's Values Award. Now this is a very special award and it's for showing outstanding values in learning and school life. Well done, we're really, really proud of you. And this superstar earned the Bishop's Award. Now, the Bishop's Award is for commitment to our school values and religious education. Again, so, so proud of you. Well done both. Okay, it's house point time. Shall we see how we are doing on the house point front? I know that when the teachers gave me all of the scores yesterday, I was thinking it's very, very close. Good luck, everybody. Okay, everybody, are we ready to find out how earth, fire, air and water have done this week? Here we go. Hold your breath, everybody. Let's find out what fire are on. So points added together, you are now on 67 points. Well done, fire. And air, 59 points. So not far behind air. Keep on going. Keep collecting those house points. Earth, 67. We've got a draw between earth and fire. And what's water done? 57. Well done to fire and earth. Water and air, keep going. You're not far behind. <laughs> Well done to all of those house teams. I told you it was very, very close. Keep getting those house points and earning a reward for your team at the end of this term. Okay, it's time to end our assembly today. Now, I want you to remember that it is the weekend tomorrow, so I'd like you all to be very, very safe. Keep well. And I'm going to finish this assembly with Reverend Nat doing her song. I'd like you to join in with the actions. So I'm going to say, the Lord be with you. I'm going to blow the candle out. Take care, everybody. See you soon. So this is a new song that I've not done with you before. It's called Great Great Grill Grill Wicked Wicked Skill Skill to have a friend like Jesus. And the actions go like this. really easy. Great, great, real, real, wicked, wicked, skill, skill, to have a friend like Jesus. Great, great, real, real, wicked, wicked, skill, skill, to have a friend like him. He's always there. He always listens 
He always hears me when I talk to him. He loves me now and will forever. I choose for him every day, day, day. Are we ready? Let's find some space to just do the actions and enjoy dancing to this song. Oh, it's great. 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 Oh,